Roy Jones Jr. did some incredible things in the ring. In his prime, no one could ever get close to his chin. He could be relaxing in the ring, arms down one second, and then explode into a hook and throw three of them one after the other. Even more exceptional is the fact that he maintained his speed even as he climbed up from the middleweight all the way to the heavyweight. Be sure to stay until the end of this video because we'll go through Roy's top 5 knockouts that displayed his exceptional fighting abilities. Jones was the undisputed light heavyweight champion when he faced Australia's Glenn Kelly in February 2002. At this point in his career, Roy still had an incredible speed, timing, and reflexes. This fight, however, was hardly a competitive fight. Kelly didn't even win a single round in the seven-round fight and was put down three times. What everyone remembers is that Jones put his hand behind his back to dismiss Kelly for the night. And as Kelly flicked out his jab, Jones punctured a right blow that floored Kelly, who was unable to continue. Of the style of the opponent or whatever. Same move, they learned that yeah, on yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. Again. Yeah. You know, that's pretty amazing because between rounds, Alton Merkerson, Roy Jones' hand. Gentlemen, you received your pre fight instructions. Therefore, I wish you good luck. Pazienzo was no match for Jones, who dominated the fight. Jones used his superior skills to counter his opponent's attack in the early rounds of the fight, and by the third round, Jones had opened a cut above Pazienza's right eye. In the fourth round, Jones would become the first fighter in the history of CompuBox to go an entire round without being hit by an opponent, as Pazienza was unable to connect with any of the five punches he threw in that round. Jones would earn a knockdown over his opponent with less than a minute remaining in round six after a left hook followed by a combination that put the challenger to the canvas. Pazienza was permitted to continue despite being visibly shaken from the exchange, but Jones immediately put him down with a right hand with 25 seconds left in the round. The referee again let him continue, prompting Jones to immediately land a six-punch combination that sent the challenger crashing to the canvas for the third time in the round. Roy shared that this was the fight where he felt he was at the peak of his powers. Pazienza's got no legs at this point. Tony Orlando trying to get there to stop it. Can't get in between the fighters. All right, gentlemen, you received your instructions from the dressing room. Are there any questions? Any questions from the chief second? In 1992, Roy was still on the rise when he knocked out Art Serrano in his 17th fight as a pro. After a slow start to the first round of the fight, Jones delivered a quick jab, followed by an overhand right to his opponent's head. Serrano was knocked down instantly by Jones' perfectly timed punch, which was described as the hardest punch of his career. When the camera zoomed in on Serrano's face, his expression conveyed the story. It was almost as if his eyes screamed, what on earth was that? After this fight, Jones went on to become one of the greatest boxers of all time winning belts from middleweight to heavyweight. While Serrano completed his career with a solid 20 victories out of 30 fights, he will always be known for being knocked out by Roy Jones in one of the most impressive knockouts in boxing history. Roy Jones was annoyed by the disqualification he received in their first fight and went into the rematch with Griffin for justice. In less than five seconds, Griffin was stunned by a left hook, and when another hit directly after, he was falling backward and had to take a count when the ropes caught him. Jones spent the next two minutes looking for the finisher, and with around 42 seconds left in the round, he caught Griffin flush with a leaping left hook that put him down on his back. You to listen to my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, come out fighting. Good luck to both of y'all. Possibly the most devastating body shot knockout of all time. Every time you see it, it makes you cringe in agony. The knockout was named the 1998 Knockout of the Year by Ring Magazine, 
Roy was a two-weight world champion at the time with a 36-1 record. He had developed a reputation as a laid-back boxer who only performed the bare minimum, but he was a dangerous man when he wanted to go for the kill. Jones was dominating the early part of the fight with his trademark lightning hand speed in combinations. In the fourth round, however, came one of the most devastating body punches you could ever see. Jones looped a right hand to the body that sent Hill to the canvas. Hill managed to get himself off the canvas, but he remained bent over as the referee called him out. His power over Hill's chair. Oh! Right to the body, down Unheard of. On the He's holding the kidney area on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos. Well, it was just a sudden shot. Uh, underneath the jab instead of over the jab. The puncher. Didn't he knock out Glenn Wolf with a body shot as well? A long time ago back in Vegas. Well.